and his opponent. Stepping into the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, Charles Joyner. Ladies and gentlemen, now for the official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 84. He's 31, stands 6'2". He fights out of Carlson, Gracie, Hull and Hells from Bridlington, Liam Dunn. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 84.3. He's 28, stands 6'8". He fights out of TFT and hurls from Sunderland by way of Sydney, Australia, Charles Joyner. Your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's the co-main event of the night. First of two professional contests, this in the middleweight division. Liam Dunn, representing Carlson Gracie. He's fighting out of the red corner. He's in the black shorts trimmed with white and red. As he takes on the fish tank zone, Charles Joyner making his pro debut. He's in the Eric's blue and black shorts. The Australian. Ooh, beautiful head kick there. I return with an absolutely decapitating body kick. Yeah, it's tap versus Bang, isn't it? Yep. Looking to chase that single leg now, gets behind the knees. So Dunn just tying the legs up there to Joyner. Joyner looking to push ahead yeah, of course. Yeah, doing the up, right thing, head pressure, but now. His back. One hook in, is he gonna look to, yeah, look the, the body, body triangle, triangle already, very nice. It's a bit of a precarious position for the body triangle there, it's gonna um, probably be used more as control rather than but the he's looking right to now, turn, but that's he's very, it's not under the chin, but. But falling backwards there, it's gone a little bit deeper, but I can't see, it's not under the chin. He doesn't need to be under no, the chin to be finished. To the and look at, he's got some strength, they're both dry. That's gonna be a tight, tight, tight squeeze. Gotta be careful not to burn the arms out though, right? That's it, yeah, when you're, uh... When you vote die, it's oh, deeper no. under the chin now. He needs to really fight that top oh, hand. Oh, well done. Good composure, because that was tight. It's very tight, and he's still not out of the woods yet. Long rounds to work as well. Three and a half minutes left in this first. I say, you know, spending four minutes at a round with somebody on your back is no, no treat. You can just hear the uh, crowd behind us getting involved. Wants to see some elbows. Blood, elbows in blood the thirsty face. Thirsty crowd behind us. Come on, Charles! Oh! And, and and again, you know, we're hearing shouts on, of up. Oh. Um, easier said than done in this position. Yeah, this position's making it tough. But he's defended everything that's he been really thrown has, at him yes. so far. And, and he's, he's turning yeah, in. He's turning but surely. in. And and I mean. Fantastic. Scrambles to his feet, eats a, a bit, knee. But gets back to that footing that... Oh, oh, oh liver kick 
from oh, hell. Oh, and a dunk this. on the head to finish. Wow. What a shot there by Joyner. Survives, survives the submission attempt, and, and stays calm, yeah. gets up, and right to the liver, me thinks. Yeah, 100%. Um, that there is never where you want to be in your professional debut with a man on your back with a body triangle. Putting on pressure. Hunting your neck, but he didn't really, outside of getting his back taken, didn't really put a foot out of place. No, here we go, off, here we go. Turned see it the in and boom. Bang! I mean, it was instant. It landed. He dropped that liver. Absolutely. That. We're going to see it again. Comes in. Bang! Done! Oh. Over! I mean, that's, that's cleaner than a shot to the chin. That is, uh, body shots are very debilitating. One more time. Oh, I'm ever and so sorry. And you can sorry, see but... that oh, the stability on his... If we can see this replay one more time, I just want to kind of highlight the ankle yeah. stability. Something must have gone wrong in the body triangle. That was a bit of a bad angle for it. If we can get the replay up one last time, um, you're going to see now that... There's something a little bit more to it. Something must have gone wrong in this body, I mean, body triangle because the, the, look, he tried so look, hard. Here we are. Look, yeah, there's you that see little, the stability the little, of yeah, there. We yep, are. Yep, there's something there not quite right there. But, which, I mean, don't get me wrong. The liver kick, regardless of how healthy his ankle is or not, a liver kick's a liver kick. Oh man, I. But that, maybe it just compromised his movement yeah, just a perhaps. little bit, and, and I think maybe that's just the keen eye in me. Um, the coach's eye, so to say. But there was something not quite right with his movement coming out of that body triangle. And, I mean, you know, Mirko, that's the fight, Mirko, right? Mirko Krokop would have been proud of that shot. Oh, 100%. I mean, that, that liver kick was on the money. Absolutely Just beautiful. Unbelievable finish. Faced early adversity, came through it, through one shot. Absolutely. A oh, round of applause for a super, super tough. Liam Dunn there, but man. Something not quite right with that foot. Something not quite right with those with that midsection either. Wow, what a finish. 1-0, Charles Joyner, welcome to the club. Let's turn it over to Mr. Sefcon and he'll make the co-main event official. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 22 seconds of the first round, your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky, calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by TKO, Charles Joyner. Please show your appreciation for Liam Dunn.